I think there, uh, there, there are two key elements for, for us to keep in mind. One is that DIA is the military component of the national intelligence community, a desperately important role. And then secondly, it is the center point for Department of Defense intelligence, desperately important role. The two uh, are interconnected, but in some cases the requirements are, are, uh, are separate. So it's a, it's a vital national, it's a vital departmental, and then as you go down into the, uh, uh, into the DIA's role at the combatant commands and so forth, it's strategic, it's operational, it's tactical simultaneously. So it's a desperately important piece. Two other things that, uh, that come to mind. First uh, is uh, that DIA and the service intelligence centers working with DIA have responsibility for assessing foreign military technology, capabilities, and trends. Um, we've sort of fallen off of that a little bit uh, with the, uh, the pressures of the last uh, decade. That gets to be increasingly important as you look at a uh, expanding Chinese uh, military capability and a resurgent uh, uh, Russia. And then there's an, the other part uh, uh, that's so important for DIA is some of the specialty areas that uh, they're assigned to it as an executive agent for the national intelligence community. And right now as we're, as we're hearing about and, and reacting to the Ebola situation in West Africa, that really brings a point to uh, the importance of the Medical Intelligence Center and, and the work that it does Again, done one place in the intelligence community by DIA, by a DIA subordinate with DIA responsibilities attached to it. Well, tenures of directors are driven not so much by the director's desires, but by the situation, the intelligence requirements of the time. So I was the Joint Staff J2, so I was part of DIA at uh, for 9-11 and for the aftermath. And I came into the director's job in the, um, the summer of 2002 and left in the, summer, in the, in the fall of 2005. So our, my tenure was defined by terrorism, uh, particularly the Al-Qaeda and Al-Qaeda affiliates uh, threat of that period, operations on the ground in Afghanistan, co you know, being coalition operations, and our, uh, our ground operations uh, in, uh, in Iraq. So my tenure was defined very much by trying to respond to the needs of those situations and at the same time trying to keep a, uh, uh, some steady state work being done and strategic intelligence and our warning um, you know, problem set that's uh, again part of DIA's uh, assigned mission. Uh, one of the key things inside the agency was we knew and we had to respond to those, uh, those requirements by making DIA a deploying unit rather than a headquarters intelligence agency. And so that, uh, uh, that was a major portion of our time. And, then, and I think what uh, you know, really my bottom line is that uh, the agency responded uh, superbly to some fundamentally changing circumstances and showed again its, um, its versatility and adaptability uh, to meet, uh, meet the requirements as they evolve and in some cases requirements that uh, weren't foreseen as my tenure began and, and changed radically between the time it began and the time it ended. Mm -hmm.